Thursday, the 3rd of October, 2013, will remain the darkest day in the history of Nigeria. That was the day Tunji Okusoya, his first son, Abimbola, and four members of his company, MIC Poor Bearers, in one fair swoop, died in a most cruel manner in that ill-fated plane crash. This has remained a deep wound in the hearts of the families of all those closely concerned and Nigeria as a country. Tunji Okusoya, whose father was a carpenter and coffin maker, trained as an engineer in the United Kingdom. The emergence of Tunji Okusoya to continue the trade from where his late father left off ignited a revolution that redefined the way Nigerians pay last respects to their loved ones when they take a final bow from their earthly surgeon. Tunji Okusoya believed that no matter in what circumstance or age we lose our dear ones, they should be accorded the highest degree of courtesies, love and care as an everlasting tribute to their loving memories. Tunji Okusoya believes that we must caress our loved ones to their final resting place. Tunji Okusoya introduced a lot of personal touch, finesse and great showmanship in the undertaking business. He adapted seamlessly to suit the circumstance of the passing of the person in question when there's a deep emotion to express or outra celebration, Tunji Okusaya and the MIC poor bearers effected the right balance. These and the very amiable, friendly and courteous disposition of Tunji Okusaya towards everyone made the MIC poor bearers the most sought after undertakers and no high profile burial eluded them. The good news is that the vacuum and void which would have been created by the death of Tunji Okusaya and his first son, Abimbola Okusaya, whom he had groomed properly over the years to step into his shoes, has now been perfectly filled by Tunji Okusaya's first child, Mrs. Bolanli Okusaya Feita. Bolanli Okusaya Feita, a third generation of the Okusaya dynasty, who is a versatile person involved in a wide range of enterprises such as writing, scripting, teaching, tour planning, image branding, and business development, has been managing the overseas arms of his father's business in the last 20 years from her London United Kingdom base. Balanli Okusaya Feita, who was trained at the Imperial College and the University of Westminster in the United Kingdom, is also a makeover expert and has a deep passion for the fashion business. However, in order to take the undertaking business in which her father was a trailblazer to the next level, Bolanle Okusara Feita has decided to sacrifice all the comfort and luxury that go with the very lucrative multifaceted enterprises she's involved in in the United Kingdom, which takes her around the world regularly. This is to pay adequate attention to the family business back home. At a ceremony where Bolanle Okusa and Feita officially unveiled the new enterprise she's embarking on, LTJ Funeral International, she explained in detail the huge dimensions to be covered by LTJ Funeral International. According to Bolanle Okusa and Feita, who exuded a lot of confidence and deep understanding of the business, she said LTJ, which will operate alongside MIC, will undertake burial services across the length and breadth of Nigeria and across the shores of Nigeria. LTJ International Burial, she said, will take charge of repatriations. This means that when Nigerians die abroad or foreigners die in Nigeria, LTJ will take care of the burial of such people from the planning stage to when they're finally buried. The Alakuni Okusaya Memorial Foundation is really together with LTJ, the memorial project that I set up just to honor the lives of my father and my brother who passed away um, with quite a few other people on the Associated Airlines thing on October 3rd, 2013, so it's almost two years ago. Um, my father was the managing director, CEO of MIC, and my brother was doing, uh, working there as business development, but he also had his own um, company as well called LTJ, Prestigious Services. 
Dr. J, who are we? We are experts in repatriation. We do funeral services and we also do first in Nigeria funeral plans. Repatriations, that is generally when somebody dies abroad or a foreigner that dies in Nigeria and they need to be you know, moved to their final resting place, which is a choice by the family. A lot of Nigerians are all over the world and unfortunately some people pass away outside of Nigeria. So that's what we do with the repatriations. With the funerals, those are classic funerals, um, but as you can see from here, we want to take it to the next generation. Under the wings of LTG International Burials, LTG International Burials will take care of counseling programs for the bereaved, as well as preparing people well in advance for how to be ready for the inevitable death so that it does not catch one unawares. Funeral services is not something that is scary. A lot of people um, think of funerals and they're so scared. But we've set up this place in a way that it's, it's even, you know, the international partners that we have look at the, the what we've done and it's much better than their own premises. So we want, I wanted something that would honor their lives and I thought there's nothing better than doing something that is a standalone memorial that is excellent in its presentation but also excellent in the service. Also helping people with grief counseling as well. The occasion of the former introduction of the LTG International Burials was also used to launch Olatunji Okusara Memorial Foundation to immortalize the memories of Tunji Okusara, her father, and her brother, Olatunji Abimbola Okusara. Members of the media who attended the former unveiling of LTG International Burials, situated in Yaba, Lagos, took Bolanle Okusara Feita up on some areas that needed more clarification, and she was very much up to the task. The foundation is going to help and support people with that as well. LTJ Funerals International will do international. Um, will do the funeral plans. Funeral plans are when somebody who is very well and alive decides to pay for their own funeral in advance because not all of us are going to be rich, not all of us are going to get married, have children, but everybody is going to die unless Jesus comes. So why don't you decide on um, what, how you want to be buried? We have people that were responsible for bodies in the mortuary that my, fam my father actually placed that body there and the family is still arguing and it's almost two years. If that man had a funeral plan, he would have been buried by now. You know, grief is something that we all find difficult to deal with and we don't plan for. So that's what the funeral plans we do. The LTJ International Bearers Corporate Office was formally commissioned by some ministers of God accompanied by the CEO, her mother, family members, and other well-wishers. They prayed and sang as they went around. Anyone who comes into this place will not be afraid in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Instead of fear, they will have life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and God the Holy Spirit, Amen. dedicate so and joy. open this outfit for the glory of the Lord to shine. A mini memorial service in honor of the late Okusayas and other members of the MIC Paul Bearers who died in that ill-fated plane crash was also part of the event. The service showcased songs and exhortations by the officiating ministers who praised Bolanli Okusaya Feita for her uncommon vision in perfectly filling the gap that would have been created with the exit of his father and brother. Yeah. My Lord is good, 
The prayer that God would imbue in her the wisdom she needs to make a success of the great assignment. The highlights of the program were the rendition of spirit filled songs in which everyone participated. It certainly will be very difficult to forget Tunji Okusara and his son Abimbole Okusara, especially how they took up the responsibility of sponsoring the education of indigent students and the upkeep of several other elderly people. We also hear that other humanitarian commitments were recorded in their favor, for which their memory will remain evergreen in the hearts of many people. A close friend of the late Tunji Okusara, Mr. Olatunde Onanuga, congratulated Bolanli Okusara Feita for being a worthy successor of our father. He prayed for her to succeed in the very huge enterprise. Um, I think the purpose of today is not only the memory of uh, the late Tunji Okusaya and the uh, junior, but it's also to drive on a vision. I want to congratulate Bolan Lee for this idea, and we pray that um, God will let us see our through our vision. All the things that um, Tunji was not able to do, she will do. In her vote of thanks, Bolanli Okusa Feita's mother thanked all those who honored them at the event. She advised everyone to be prepared for the last day and that they should ensure that the plan well in advance with LTG and MIC so that their bearer will be remembered for a long time. I want to thank the Almighty God for starting this dream. And we know that he's the Alpha, he's the Omega, he knows the end from the beginning. And he will see us through till Jesus comes. I hope, like the priest has said, that you are not going to be afraid. You are going to be happy. Because I wonder sometimes, we all want to see Jesus Christ, but we don't want to die. <laughs> Prepare for the GD in advance. Fortunately, LTJ has made some funeral plans. So don't be afraid when you die. Everything will be taken care of. At the right time. From Biskin Communications, it's hearty congratulations to Bolanli Okusua Feita for doing the Okusua family proud. The spirit of your father and brother will continue to guide you aright. No evil will befall you. Amen.